Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on control charts series. This is in succession to our previous discussion on IMR control chart. In this video, we will explore X bar and range chart. We use this chart when subgroup size is 2 to 5. It is popularly known as X bar R chart. Samples used for this chart are collected at regular intervals. X bar R chart is actually a pair of charts. Let's look at a sample X bar R chart here. Top one is the X bar chart which monitors process mean. Bottom one is the range chart which monitors process standard deviation as approximated by the sample moving range. An important concept to note here is that range is a better estimate of dispersion for small sample sizes. Let's understand the control limits of the X bar R chart now. As we have already discussed in video 1.8 on introduction to control charts, control limits are calculated from historical data, which is the process data. It thus represents the voice of the process or the VOP. What we would require to calculate control limits is K, that is the number of subgroups, N, which is the sample size of each subgroup average of the ith subgroup that is xi bar is equal to the summation of xij divided by n where j can take values from 1 to n when we say xij it indicates jth item of the ith subgroup center line of the x bar chart is denoted by x double bar because it is the average of the average calculated for each subgroup. To understand it better, let's visualize that we have five subgroups. Each subgroup has its own average. In X bar chart, average of these five subgroup averages will be designated as X double bar. So X double bar will be equal to summation of XI bar divided by K. There is the number of subgroups where i can take values from 1 to k. Range of the ith subgroup is ri and center line of the r chart that is r bar is equal to the summation of ri divided by k where i can again take values from 1 to k. So this was all that we required to be able to calculate the control limits. Now here are the formulas that we use to calculate the upper control limit and lower control limit for X bar chart and then for R chart. In these formulas A2, D3 and D4 are control chart constants which have table values. We can get those values from available tables for control chart constants corresponding to the sample size that we have. This was all about X bar R charts. Now you know when to use an X bar R chart in your project and the idea behind it. Our next video in this series is on X bar and standard deviation chart. Stay tuned for it. Thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to share your comments or get in touch with me on LinkedIn. Please subscribe to this channel by clicking the red colored subscribe button while watching the video. Cheers and have a good one.